Okay, well, hi, all my friends. Um, so we're in the uh, book of Jeremiah. I'm going to finish up uh, verse uh, chapter 23, starting from verse 24. So do pray before you hear God's word. And um, uh, my beginning videos for this day, uh, I left um, an explanation of how the Quran was put together. Um, and uh, two pictures, one of me and Juliana having dinner. So that was fun last night. Um, and I'm glad that they're starting a trial for the uh, murder of the ICE agent that in Mexico by the cartels. It's about time. It's only been like, what, six, seven years or something? Anyway, um... Yeah, from ICE, you know, that the young man that was killed, um, ambushed actually and then murdered. Um, okay, anyway, so that's going on with the news up to date, as far as I know. Um, what else is going on? Uh, I don't think there's uh, um, nothing happening with the LGBT community that I'm aware of, but if you know of any interesting things that are going on let me know um there's uh on youtube um plenty of lgbt sites you can see um people doing skits and uh people you know couples talking about whatever they're you know they're going through um taking you on their personal journey um answering people's questions you know and so i think that that's really good and informative and just you know makes people a little bit more accepting of others i think um and i i think it's valuable so that's good um what else um so yeah so that's about it so let me just um get going with our bible do pray before hearing god's word for your life and um, know that, you know, how the Lord works through us is, um, you know, if we are open, we keep the evil at the periphery, if you will, and open yourself up to the Lord. And so that he can soften your heart and do good works in you. Uh, and through you to other people. Okay. So, um, we ended up in verse 24. So, can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him, saith the Lord? Do not I fill heaven and earth, saith the Lord? Okay, so I've heard what the prophets say, that the prophecies lies in my name saying i have dreamed i have dreamed you know i had this dream you know god told me this okay how long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies yea they are prophets of the deceit of their own heart and remember what the lord said about our hearts which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. The prophet hath dream a dream. Let him tell a dream that he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, saith the Lord? Is not my word like a fire, saith the Lord, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that steal my words every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, that use their tongues and say, He saith. Behold, I am against them that prophesy false dreams, saith the Lord, and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their lightness. Yet I sent them not, nor commanded them, Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all, saith the Lord. And when 
this people or this prophet or this priest shall ask thee, saying, What is the burden of the Lord? Thou shalt say unto them, What burden? I will even forsake you, saith the Lord. As for the prophet and the priest and the people that say, shall say, The burden of the Lord, I will even punish that man and his house. Thus say ye, uh, thus shall ye say every one to his neighbor and every one to his brother that hath the Lord answered and what hath the Lord spoken and the burden of the Lord shall be mentioned no more for every man's word shall be his burden for ye have perverted the words of the living God for the Lord of hosts and God thus shall thou say to the prophet that which the Lord answered thee and hath the Lord spoken but ye, since ye say the burden of the Lord, therefore thus saith the Lord, because ye say this word, the burden of the Lord that I have sent unto you, saying, ye shall not say the burden of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I will utterly forget you, I will forsake you, and the city that, I, that gave you and your fathers, and cast you out of my presence. I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you, and a perpetual shame which shall not be forgotten." Okay, so be good and bad, fig, bad figs. Uh, the prophet foreshadows the restoration from captivity and the desolation of Zechariah and the residue of Jerusalem, chapter 24. So the Lord showed me, and behold, two baskets of figs were set before the temple of the Lord. After Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, carried away the captive of Jericho, Je, uh, Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and the prince of Judah, and the carpenters and smiths from Jerusalem have brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, even like the figs that are first ripe, and the other basket had very naughty figs, which could not be eaten. They were so bad. Then saith the Lord unto me, What seest thou, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs. Good figs, very good, and the evil, very evil, that cannot be eaten, they are so evil. Again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, like these good figs, will I acknowledge them that are carried away captive of Judah, whom I have sent out of the place of the land of the Chal uh, Chaldeans, and their good, for their good. For I have set mine eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them again to this land. And I will build them and not pull them down. I will plant them and not pluck them up. I will give them a heart to know me, and, for I am the Lord. And they shall be my people, and I shall be their God. For they shall return unto me with their whole heart. And as for evil figs, which cannot be eaten, they are so evil. Surely thus saith the Lord, so will I give Zedekiah the king of Judah and his princes and residue of Jerusalem the re that remained in his land, and them that dwell in the land of Egypt. And I will deliver them to be removed to all the kingdoms of the earth for their hurt to be reproached, and a proverb, a taunt, a curse, in a place where I shall drive them. And I will send the sword, the famine, the pestilence among them, until they be consumed off the land that I gave unto them to their fathers." Chapter 25. Let's see, hang on. No, I'm going to stop right there because it's a long, long chapter and I don't want to have to break it up again. Okay, so that's it for the readings for today. I do hope you have a blessed weekend. Do leave me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Leave me comments. Again, I really would like to get to know you. Um, and I do love all the other comments I've received. Be um, polite and considerate in your comments. Um, and uh, I would appreciate that very much. If not, of course, I will block you. <laughs> um, I just, uh, just don't have time for negativity. Uh, if you have a question and you are genuinely seeking and not trying to waste my time, um, then I will, of course, answer you and do the best that I can to answer you. Um, so, anyway, have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.